How do I delete an existing window? Now in prior How Do I videos, we have demonstrated how we can go about creating a window. Let me go ahead and get my cursor up here. Creating windows. How we can show those windows. We talked about how to edit windows. And then we even went as far as showing how we can check to see if a window exists. But if a window does exist, how can we, how can we delete it if we're about to create another instance of that particular window with the same name? Now previously, when I demonstrated the checking to see if a window exists, all we did was errored out if the window did indeed exist. Let's say that I want to change my logic around here. Let's say I want to take this line, I'm going to, con actually I'm going to take both these lines. Control X. I'm going to move them down here. Like such. What I want to do, is I'm going to use the delete UI command to delete a window if it already exists. Now in this case, the window that I'm going to be creating is this one right here, my window. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and demonstrate the command working and then put all of this together. So with this line highlighted, I'm going to hit control enter. Now we know that a window was just created in memory. It is currently not visible because it has not been set to visible or shown. Now I'm going to try to execute this command again and this is going to generate an error. So control enter and there you go. Object's name is not unique because that object already exists in memory. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to demonstrate D-E-L-E-T-E -E -E, capital U-I delete UI space and now I need to give this command the UI name that I'm looking to delete. Now the cool thing is this is handy not on just Windows but also on UI elements so buttons etc. So I'm going to delete my window like such. So let's go ahead and highlight that. Now I'm going to hit control enter. Boom. Delete UI. Looks like everything went nice and smooth. We can now verify this by highlighting this line once again and seeing if we can create my window. Control Enter. And what do you know? We were able to create my window without any problem. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put all of this together so that we have a logical set of statements that are going to allow us to produce a new my window every single time and if a window called my window already exists we will safely delete it out behind the scenes before attempting to create a new one so we've already seen how we can check to see if a window exists with this if statement right here well if the window exists what do we want to do well before trying to create it we want to simply delete it so I'm gonna grab this line of code right here hit control X to cut it highlight this line right here Control V to paste it in and I'm going to space it over just so that it is indented up under this if statement letting me know that it belongs to the if statement and let's see that's pretty much all I want to do so there's all of the code that I need so let's go ahead and trace through the logic when the script is executed the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to check to see by calling the window command and passing it the dash ex or exists flag and a name of my window we're going to check to see if a window named my window exists if it exists, we're going to safely delete it out of memory. That means we will never run into any trouble with this line right here where we then create a window called my window and then we turn around and show it. So let's go ahead and highlight this and let's execute. Now remember, my window does currently exist. I can prove that. Let's go ahead and highlight this right here. Hit control enter and we get an error. Okay, we're supposed to because my window exists in memory. But now let's run this whole thing as a group. So this is our script. Let's execute it. Control enter. Look at that. My cool window. Now I'm going to leave it visible. Let's come back over here and execute again. Now I've moved this guy off screen like such. Let's come back over here and execute again and watch what happens. Control enter. Boom. He now snapped back to his original starting position. Why is that? That's because the window that we saw over here was deleted and a new one was created. By setting your code up like this, you put yourself in a safe position of always recreating this window with confidence knowing that you're not going to run into an error because that window already exists in memory. So again, in this video, we asked how do we go about checking to see if a window exists and how, if, if it does, how do we delete it? So how do we delete an existing window? And we saw we can do that with the delete UI command and we simply pass it the window or control if we're using this on a button or something else name. So delete UI, my window, and that takes care of it for us. So that is going to wrap up this, how do I? Thanks a lot.